Hello everybody, this is Tetsuo. Uh, in our last video, we set up the IK rig already. So if you didn't see that, uh, go ahead and watch that for how to set up our rig. Uh, and I'm going to make a simple animation of this scientist leaning over this panel, punching in a bunch of keys, and he's going to relax back to his um, position. So a couple of hot keys to note here. Um, I'm hitting A to select everything. Again, I'm in pose mode on this skeleton. And um, that's how I'm going to be setting my keyframes. I like setting them all at the same time to just make sure that everything is going to move. Uh, another hot key that I'm going to be using is number one on the keypad, number three, and then control three. And that's going to cycle through my views. Uh, if you're not in orthographic mode, hit five on the keypad, and that'll toggle between perspective and orthographic. So down here in your animation bar set your end time to 100 and then set your start frame to 1 and this is your current frame you can cycle through them here so frame 1 we're gonna select everything with A hit I and we're gonna hit location rotation and that's gonna map our keyframes to this um, timeline so let's go 20 frames out and let's make him lean over this panel so I'm gonna grab his head and move this. Oh, I left the IK rig on his chest. Let me go fix that. Chain link five. So now that's not going to. There we go. Sorry about that. All right. Now he's leaning over. Probably too much. <coughs> grab his hand and we're gonna put it right here look at that how easy is that we're gonna take his hand in and then I'm gonna move his other hand and prepare it to touch this key hit a all location rotation and now you can see from here to there he's leaning in grabbing that and he's ready to hit a key let's make him punch a key at 25 his hand, boop, I, location, rotation, and then we're going to pull his hand back from the keyboard here, location, rotation, and then at 35, we're going to make him punch another key, and another part of the keyboard, at 40, we're going to pull his hand back, Forty-five. We're gonna have him punch one more key. And then at fifty, we're gonna have him pull his hand back, and then he's going to relax. And we're gonna set this keyframe with I. So now we can play our animation and see how that looks. So he's gonna lean over. Punch a couple keys. And then we're going to make him relax. And let's bring him back to 70 to relax. So select everything with A and go to Pose, Clear Transform, All. And then this is his default starting position. And then hit I, Location, Rotation. And actually, we can bring this down to 70. And this will loop when we play it. That's kind of quick and it's kind of awkward, so let's slow this whole thing down. I'm going to pull open a new window here, and I'm going to make the dope sheet. So this is the sheet where you can see all the keyframes being animated here, and I'm just going to scale it with S, and make sure that uh, your keyframe indicator here is at one and then you can just scale it out let's go to let's go to 100 and what that does is just going to stretch all the the keyframe mappings out so it's going to slow everything down and that looks a little better so 
So then we can make his head look at the keyboard, you know, look at where he's going. So right here, let's well first of all let's clear everything on his head because we want to map this. So you can just hit B for box select. Select everything in the middle and just delete those keyframes. So actually, you know what? Now he's kind of looking where he should anyway. Um, a little unnatural, but that's fine. So he's looking there. So right here, when he hits that button at 35, I want to make his head point over there. So I'm going to grab his head. And if you hit R twice, uh, his head kind of follows your mouse. Uh, that's a neat little trick I picked up. So, and that looks like he's looking at his hand. So I'm gonna hit I location rotation to map that for his head. And then let's find another key that it punches, which is right here at 50. I'm just gonna do that same thing. I'm gonna hit the R button twice. Make him look a little bit over here. Yeah, that's looking all right. I location rotation and then uh, see how that looks so if we play this we can see he's kind of looking at what he's doing and then he comes back up and relaxes uh, and this would have taken quite a lot longer had we not set up the inverse kinematics rig on the skeleton um, so that is pretty much it for animating this guy. Uh, other than that, you would just export this animation. You would have to name this. So you would come to the action editor and this would be, I don't know, keypad punch. No, keypad lean. Let's do that. So now let's save this keypad lean so if we go to our scene export um, SMD we can export this keypad lean SMD and that's our animation we don't have to do anything else and we can just export that straight to our folder code it into our QC and we'll have a scientist leaning over the keypad and the IK doesn't affect the bones at all that that's something within blender that's a relationship in blender the important thing to note is that these keyframes are all set Th these keyframes tell the bones where to go and the ik rig just helps the bones out um yeah so like and subscribe if you want some more blender videos with gold source models or any other tips uh shoot me a comment let me know what you want